Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Last one we did the Guess and Cushion UNC mission. This one, I think we'll take on Severus. No idea why I said that. Been through. I'm not looking forward to one aspect of Mass Effect 2. Grinding. Ugh. Um Yeah, let's get this here. Or get you. I hope I had to check to see if I was either done. know that ain't we know that he ain't probably alive because he's wearing something different than us. Shields the same. It's not often, I th I don't think it's often. All targets you down. You see, uh, generic, quote unquote generic NPCs wearing heavy armor. One down. Good to go.
idea why that glitch happens. No, I do not want to leave. Rally round. You know where the radic, where the aiming radical doesn't show up for the, for the make go. Don't get why that uh, happens. I think it was also present and number one. Tholians. Tholians. I wonder what Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. We got them all, Shepard. Definitely not working because you don't get all this when you zoom in. But luckily, all that the luckily, all you need to do is just exit the Mako and you need to Right now, I don't know this body. I gotta be more careful. Thank 
Okay, so I just got one. I try. No. Clear. Whoa. Spread is not bad. I almost guaranteed a hit. Only one hit. Shepard, over there. It's Admiral Cahoke. Cerberus must have tracked him down. One last stop to make Shepard. We owe Cahoku that much. I don't know what to do. Terrain's too Form up. Don't know what you're talking about, guys, because that's the final one. Pretty sure. Yeah. Looks like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet. Oops. They're not mean to press space, but... Yeah, it's just a beacon showing location, but no message.
My, my ground. I lost faith I've, with this in this universe. In space, I haven't got the SSD no me yet. No idea what that is. When can I speculate? On the ground, M35 Mako. It's mine. My go to. You can't get this kind of farm without the hammerhead. It has no wheels. Well, to be fair, I don't think these things could be in one piece if they hit with the main cannon. Let's get moving. The turret? Eh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, but this one it's best to get close. With these guys, range is not the best thing to do, really. Because the shotgun, one hit kill with these guys. Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. Not so fast. First you're gonna tell me why this place is overrun with Thorian creepers. How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists. So I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. Yeah. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Really? Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. Any chance some of the other people at the base might... Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. I've heard all I need to. Look, I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that, but it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally, Exogeny would have my back, but it sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Go, go, go! I love the ragdoll effects. I love the ragdoll effects when you get this, when they get hit by the shotgun. Especially when it's soon that um, pop-up message. They look fine until you hit OK. Then off they go. should do it for this one. Let's go back up.
Ah, okay. Oh well, yeah, that should do it for this one. The next one we'll finish off Admiral Kahuku's uh, revenge story. Hades Dog. Another reference to Greek mythology. Cerberus and is Hades' dog. And Hades is the Greek god of the underworld. Um, Cerberus is the three-headed dog that guards the gates to the underworld. So, yeah. Not the best thing they could have named the uh, organization after, but yeah, they want the best. Pe they want the best organization out there. But that's later on. But that's it for this one. Hope y'all enjoy, and I'll see y'all in the next one.